Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I'm a little bit tired this morning, I'm not gonna lie. Staying up till about 1.30 in the morning for the 24 hour knitting challenge and then waking up early this morning, I thought I would wake up a lot earlier and I would get to get some knitting done, but I didn't wake up very early. But that's all right because I'm still gonna knit for the rest of the day. The only thing I have going on today is I have a violin lesson at one, which I do every Sunday. But outside of that, it should be smooth sailing and nothing serious. Maybe I'll even take a nap. So I'm also pretty excited because you guys are joining the membership and it's growing and I'm so excited to share with everyone. So it's a good day. Let me see what the cards have to say today. So yesterday we pulled the chariot upside down and the chariot upside down or reversed, I should say, is maybe a lack of focus and a lack of like determination and where we're supposed to be going. So refocusing yesterday, I didn't feel like I had a lack of direction. I feel like I was being pulled in a lot of directions in a good way. I just had a lot of stuff going on yesterday, but it was so much fun. So let's see what today has to say for us. What do we need to learn today on day 17 of Vlogmas? All right. Today is the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords comes up when you are anxious about something. Like, it is, she's sitting up in the bed, and, like, she's distraught, and it is, like, the anxiety and the things that keep you up at night. The things that go through your head over and over and just won't let you sleep, and it interrupts your sleep, it wakes you up, it's nightmares. It is just basically like an anxiety card, which is funny because I feel like this is the card of my life. This is the theme card of my life, but I don't have any anxiety right now. This also tells you that a lot of what is going on is inside your head. So it is your own thoughts that you control and you need to control and calm yourself and realize that everything is going to be okay. All right, let's open our Advents. So for day 17 of the Woobly One, I love this calendar, guys. Like, I really do. It has brought me so much joy. And today we have, we have green and we have a little bit of red to make a tiny wreath. Look at that. That is so cute. I'm actually going to leave, you know what? I'm going to leave this drawer out and I'm going to see if I leave this here, maybe that will get me moving to make one of those. All right. Let's do day 17, Bitten Mitten. I should be looking up all of these names. Oh, ah! so this one is Candy Corn. And look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Is definitely candy cornish. And look, I got a little candy corn stitch marker. It's so cute. So look at that. That is adorable. I love it so much. Here is day 17 of Yarn Cafe Creations. What are we going to get today? I wonder how long she's going to do these Disney calendars for because I absolutely love this. This is my first year. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I don't even know because of the lighting right now. It's really, it's a dark day. It's really gloomy out and you can't really, I feel like it's very dark, but it is so gorgeous. And this is Ray the Cajun Firefly who I'm pretty sure, I don't know why that's not focusing, who I'm pretty sure is from Princess and the Frog because that took place in the bayou. So yeah, look at how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. Put that in there. 
And then, so let's see if we're going to be moving towards the violet portion of the rainbow. So here is day 17 of Teal Torch Knits. Oh, I'm struggling with this one. Oh my goodness, the blue. So here it is. There is the blue and it is moving into purple, but it's still holding on to green a little bit, which is still kind of cool. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. These are so gorgeous. All right, so let's see what manner of coffee we got today. Here's day 17. Ah, nice. So day 17 is a French roast coffee, which I can totally get behind that. I can totally do a French roast. I love that. That's awesome. All right. And so I still have the wine piling up. I have the two reds. I have not gotten a chance to drink them yet. So let's see. Maybe we can throw in a, a white. See what I get today. Oh, I did. So today is a Pinot Grigio. A Pinot Grigio is pretty good. So I'm excited to try that. I will put this here so I could throw that in the refrigerator so that it doesn't end up staying warm on me. All right, so those are my calendars. I am so excited to honestly um, sit home today and relax and be with my family and have a good day. So it is Sunday, it's lazy day, it's scrappy Sunday. Let's get this day started.
it has been a good day today. We went to a Korean hot pot place and Korean barbecue. I've never been to anything like that before. It was an experience. It was a little bit overwhelming and the food was good, but I can't eat that much food. It was like all you can eat um, for like $32. And I think I had a little bit of rice and bulgogi, but it was very good. Then we went to a bookstore, like a secondhand well, it's not just a bookstore though. It's called Second and Charles. It's like has it has video games and books and records and music and different things. So it's a lot of fun to, to go in there and see everything that they have. I have the dogs over here that like this one won't give me my spot back. And then this one over here. What are you doing? What are you doing, cutie? Sorry, drop the camera. So as always, I brought knitting with me and if you don't wanna see the progress on the freckled whimsy socks, I would not look at this section, but here they are, I'm gonna show them. So I'm just going to town on these and working on them when I need a vanilla project. So here is where I'm at on this one. And then here is where I'm at on that one. So here they are. And then I worked on the festive stocking and I'm almost done with this section right here. This is the back. This is the front. I'm almost done with this section right here. It's slow. I'm not going to lie. It is a little hard. It's not really the color work. It's the fact that it's on size two needles, but it's worth, well, it's supposed to be worsted weight, but it's DK, like a heavy DK weight. And it's just really hard to do that. But I did teach myself, I don't know if I mentioned this, I taught myself how to do the color work in both hands. So I do the green continental and I do the red English. So I'm having a easier time doing the color work that way and manipulating, manipulating the yarn with the two hands as opposed to like switching back and forth and dropping one and picking up the other and just using one hand. So I'll work on these more tomorrow. I do have some work to get done tomorrow for the insurance company and I have errands to run. So I don't really know where tomorrow is going to be as far as my knitting goes, but it'll be a good day. So I'm going to say good night. I hope everyone had a good day and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.